Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, we want to learn how we can open, edit, and save a C-sharp chord in the runtime of Unity. Okay, let's take a look at this new technology. In the an empty scene, I created a scroll view in here to demonstrate our list and uh, you know the our scripts. And inside of the content, I created an input field, and as you can see, it is a simple input field in here. And uh, I changed the movement of movement type of the scroll react to uh, from listic to unrestricted, and also in here, I've added load button and save button. And uh, an empty object, I created uh, a simple a script. I called it example code, uh, which is we want to open, uh, modify, and save. And we will see the impact of this example code. Let's take a look at this example code. It is using Unity Engine, and it has a public variable object and simple function which called example which has a print example and I've attached this event system to this uh, object which I want to demonstrate uh, the modification of the example code and see after we save the uh, the modif uh, the our edit uh, we will see nothing different in between the variables and I have the an empty object which called manager and this is our C sharp reviewer in this code uh, we have using system collection generic and TM pro and system .io and system link and in here we have public and TMP input field for context view for that we, uh, a script we want to uh, show and this is the code name which can be anything in the here we have two functions first look at uh, let's take a look at the code reader in the string text reader we have the address and the file name and the file format of our uh, C sharp code I put this uh, script code in here inside of my assets folder example code so I called it application.datapath instead of this line you can add any address you want and in here the code name uh, it can be any code name you want and the format has to be c.cs this is the C sharp format and in here we will say okay let's read all lines of this file of this C sharp file and put it each lines inside of this list of a string final lines and in here for each string line in final lines context view dot text plus equal this is important plus equal and in here this that line uh, slash line it is for uh, going to the next line for each line and finally write the line in here let's take a look at it okay I click on manager and I assure the code name is fine okay now load exactly that things I have in here excellent and now take a look at the code saver this is the address of our code it's supposed to be exactly like this one because we want to sometime um, just review but sometimes we want to review and modify or make a comments for each lines for now uh, I put the ad at the same address for uh, this file text saver and I say if 
we already have a file with this name and in this num uh, address okay remove it because once we want to click on code saver in fact we will say okay save all contents of this input field inside the new file which called codename.cs inside of this address so we will create a new file so before that if we have it if the file exists in this address let's remove it and now create a new file and write those uh, lines in the input fields in the new file okay for example I want to write a comment in here for example this line is correct or maybe I can say something like this correct or this is fine or maybe I can write something else public uh, maybe game ob object uh, player and now save code in the address of my project if I refresh my code and uh, my unity editor As you can see, we have this comment and we have this new variable. And in our editor, we have the new variable which we have added in our modification. This is exactly that we need for code reviewing process in our meetings. Okay, I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't hesitate to ask any question related to unity ar vr and xr and like this video if you like it have a great time bye bye